Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Most of the land drilling rigs in the world are working in North America, and yet it's very common to rotate the drill string by using a so called Kelly drive. I have a little model here. For a Kelly drive system, first we need a rotary table, which is built into the rig floor of the drilling rig. In the middle of the rotary table, there's a hole, and the Kelly rod fits into this opening. I have a ruler here to demonstrate that. But the real Kelly rod normally has six sides that is hexagonal in shape. If we now start rotating the rotary table by means of a diesel engine, the Kelly rod will have to rotate along with it. And so the entire drill string also, which is attached to the lower end of the Kelly rod. While the Kelly rod rotates, it can still move freely up and down through the rotary table. In practice, this is not a good idea for iron to run across iron. That is why we use a dampening element called the Kelly bushing between the Kelly rod and the rotary table. As you see in the picture, the Kelly bushing has four bolts on the lower side and these four bolts fit into four dedicated holes in the rotary table. When the rotary table turns, the Kelly bushing turns along with it and the Kelly bushing has four rows which form an hexagonal opening where the Kelly rod fits in and moves easily up and down. On this picture, we can see in detail how everything works together. On the hook of the pulley system in the derrick hangs the swivel, through which the dually mod passes from a high pressure hose into the rotating drill string. The Kelly rod is screwed with its upper end onto the swivel and leads down to the Kelly bushing, into the rotary table, and to the top end of the drill string. If we now start drilling and the drill bit goes on button, the rotating Kelly rod will slowly move downwards through the Kelly bushing until it is drilled off and can go no further. Now it is time to make a new connection. For adding a new part to the drill string, the Kelly rod is lifted up in the derrick. However, since the lower end does not fit to the hexagonal opening in the Kelly bushing, the Kelly bushing is pulled out of the rotary table as you see in the video behind me. Now we secure the drill string in the rotary table by setting the slips. These slips ensure the drill string cannot fall into the borehole when we unscrew the connection to the Kelly rod. We now need to get the new drill pipe to the rig floor. We lift it from the pipe rack to the rig floor and place it in a hole called the mouse hole. So now we can unscrew the Kelly rod from the drill string and push it aside and lower it onto the new drill pipe. There, the connection with the new drip pipe is made, and then we leave the entire assembly so that we can now screw the new drill pipe onto the existing drill string and make up the connection. Now we can finally pull the slips, lower the Kelly rod until the Kelly bushing fits back into the holes on the rotary table. And then we can start drilling off the length of the Kelly again. This is how a connection is made on the drilling rig. If you want to know more about drilling deep boreholes, come to our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.